the acrobatics. Tail walking, love it. Well, good morning, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. Welcome back to the next fishing adventure. I'm your host, John. Um, in today's adventure, I'm really excited because I'm targeting a fish that I've never, ever caught before. And uh, what's fascinating about this fish is it's an ancient, ancient species. Uh, these species. This species of fish has been around for millions and millions of years. Um, I'm talking about the bowfin. Now the bowfin um, is very commonly mistaken for um, an invasive species from Asia called a snakehead. Um, there's a northern snake in it and a bullseye snakehead, but neither of those are what I'm targeting here. As a matter of fact, they're not even in this body of water. Um, I brought the fur babies with me today because they're due for a bath anyway. I figured let them go ahead and get nice and dirty and nice and muddy. Uh, so the plan um, today is I'm going to start off fishing for bait and I'm just going to work my way up the food chain. The goal again is bowfin, but the most important part is catching bait. So let's see if we can get, get some. So I'm starting off really, really basic, just a little tiny float. About a foot down I have this very light 132nd ounce jig head with a little bit of worm on there. This is not natural worm, this is gulp. Um, anyone will tell you, and I, and I agree at 100%, if I was really out here trying to target bluegill, um, natural baits would be the best. So little chunks of night crawler, crickets, things like that. But I just don't keep that stuff on hand because I don't use it that often. But what I do have is some gulp worm in my little gulp uh, container that has all my little small gulp baits. Come on, come. Good boy. So this is back to the basics, just a little, small little hook and a bobber. So I'm switching up techniques here. I've put a little tiny jig head with a chartreuse curly tail under that bobber and see if maybe I can catch a crappie. I've seen quite a few of them come up and kind of chasing minnows up on the surface okay got ourselves a little crappie that's perfect bait size it took me just a shade under three hours that's insane but that's perfect we can get a couple good pieces of bait off of him and cut off the tail and i'm going to make two nice steaks out of this the one I want to use first is going to be this part here with all the guts in it. Okay, so here's my setup. I have a sliding sinker here. Got a bead protecting that knot ahead of that swivel. And a 14 pound leader here leading up to a circle hook with my piece of meat over there. I'm going to chuck it right over the middle of the creek channel. And uh, hopefully a bowfin will smell this and come along. There we go. That's right in the middle of the creek channel. And we'll set the rod up right here. Okay, something's picking at it. Could be a small catfish, but there's definitely something on it. Here we go. All right, fish on. Oh, he got off. Is he off? No, he's still on, he's still on. I'm thinking it's a catfish. Whatever would hit that big chunk of meat is going to be a pretty good sized fish though. Yeah, it's catfish the way it's rolling. Yep. Kenji, get back. Get back. Kenji, get back. No. Is that a flathead? No, it couldn't be a flathead. A flathead wouldn't take dead bait. Okay. Again, not the target species, but hey, conditions are tough like this. You take what you can get, right? All right, so let's let him go. What do you think, Kench? Did he do good? Oh, let it go. Leave it. Leave it, baby. Move. 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 Thanks. Move. There he goes. Off he goes. All right. Well, that's how you work your way up the food chain. I'm going to keep using this same chunk of meat. 
all I did was slide up the line a little bit so we're gonna get it right back down to the hook and we'll toss right back into that channel so we'll take that again not the target species but it felt good to have something heavy pulling on the end of the line same thing I'll put a little slack on there that gives gives me a little bit of heads up when a fish is picking it up and it also gives the fish the opportunity to get the bait in their mouth there we go all right let's catch some more there he is there he is give him a little slack there we go fish on oh this is a good fish this is a good fish oh i think he's got me in a snag I keep pressure and see if i can work him out of that snag that's a good fish though no, he got me in a snag. Keep pressure on it, see if I can get him to come out. I doubt it though, he's got me in there good. <clears throat> there we go. All right. Luckily we have one more piece of meat. What we're doing is working, so. It's just, just a lot of snags down there. So cat, that was probably a catfish. Catfish will take something and then go right back into a hole. That's exactly what it did. It's, it picked it up and ran into a hole. So I've used this before on one of my previous videos. This is just a little alarm, if you guys can make that out. But the line comes through here and across here. And when something pulls on that line, it makes an audible alarm. That way I don't have to keep my eye on the rod all the time. Not only that, this also works really well at nighttime um, when you can't see your rod. So it just clips on there and the line comes down. And I just have to make sure if I hear the alarm to pull this off before I set the, set the hook. Okay, I'm going to show you how to set up this other one. So I have this weight right here. So that's going to do is going to sit on the bottom and this will kind of float up in the current like this. And it'll keep it from staying directly on the bottom or the other rod I have directly on the bottom. This will kind of, I'm going to use a current to my advantage and this will kind of flutter around up in the current. Oh, he got me back in that snag. Got me back in that same snag. So these little uh, rod stakes, they're like five or six bucks over at Bass Pro Shops. They're handy to have around, but they're not the best. They're not the most supportive, but it's better than having nothing. Well, I'm going to call it a day. Um, not quite as successful as I would have hoped. Obviously, I wanted to catch uh, both in. No luck. I'm going to keep an eye on the forecast. If we get a little bit more rain and there's more water flowing through here, I'll try uh, next coming weekend and see if we have more luck. And uh, obviously, one thing I spend, I wasted a lot of time just trying to get bait. So I might just have to break down and buy some night crawlers and use those to, uh, to catch the bait to begin with. Um, but anyway, either way, we had fun, caught a few fish, uh, well, actually two, <laughs> one for bait and that one catfish. We had a few good bites that got me snagged, um, but that's fishing, so it happens. Uh, the dogs are pooped. They're done in. So uh, I'm going to head on home, have myself some lunch. Thank you guys for tuning in. We'll catch you on the next fishing adventure.